Oh shit, I'm happy about this one, man. We got the 14 day blueprint. You can get a copy of it down there. Yours is gonna look a lot prettier than mine. Mine looks like chicken scratch because this is what I did the initial one on. But um, for the past month, you guys, I don't know, maybe you don't know, but like if you've been living under a rock or maybe you just don't follow me that much on TikTok, I've been going live and I've been talking about the three steps that I used to see over $100,000 with digital marketing, right? And I've really been trying to un like get people to understand there's so much more that you can do with digital marketing. If you've been noticing my last few videos, I don't want you to feel like this is just some make money online program, which those are cool, not knocking them, but at the end of the day, shit, that's great. Make money online, you get to go make some money, but you're still a fucking like slave and reliant upon that program. You're not really developing on your, your, your skills and developing you. And the crazy thing is, is a lot of you are probably sitting on a digital product deep inside of you right now that you could be making a whole bunch of money off of. So I've been trying to kind of like paint that picture for you, but it doesn't matter, okay? When I do these three steps, everybody loves it and they get a lot of value, but then it's like when we get off of the lot, when I get off the live or I get off of a training or whatever, they got it, but they don't have it. They're like, okay, well, what, what, what's my next move? Even though I kind of tell them what the next move is, but I thought, you know what? What if I gave you like a 14 day guide, like a 14 day blueprint of what I would be going and do? Because after that, you're just gonna be rinsing and repeating anyways. I mean, down the road, there's ways to scale, but this is literally the work like that a lot of people don't even wanna hear, right? They don't wanna hear like, oh, this is the work? Yeah, this is the fucking work right here. I'm telling you right now. In fact, you know, there's the only thing that I would add is later on, I would probably start going live, right? But you know that, but this is the 14 day blueprint as of right now. And I wanna kinda just kinda give you a brief overhaul of it. Like I said, you can click the link below and you can get a copy of this 14 day guide. But here we go, we're gonna break it down. It kind of took the three steps that I always teach, but it puts you, but it put it in uh, 14 days of actionable steps that you could be taking to get you closer to your goal. Okay. So day number one, and I, and I only give you a day to do this because to me, it seems pretty simple. Um, but you really need to kind of start making some decisions, meaning you need to start doing some research and picking your niche, niche, if you will and choosing what kind of digital product that you want to promote. Like I remember when I said, hey, day one, or I said step number one is there's three ways to get your own digital product. You need to get your own digital product. And that is, that is very, very true. But what you need to do is start kind of defining that, right? For some of you, right? It could be you go become an affiliate for somebody else's product, right? That means you sell somebody else's product for a commission. Like if you go to system.io and you sign up for free, Number one, and you go to the marketplace, there's thousands of those products that you can sit there and sell over and over. And you can even go look up most want we will in there. And I'll literally pay you $25 per person per month for referring my app, right? So that's one way you can get your own digital product. Another way is you can get the resale rights. You guys already know all about resale rights. You've been seeing it everywhere, right? That's where somebody legally gives you the rights to resell their product that they created for 100% profit. Now, when you first heard that, you're like, why the fuck would anybody create a product and give me the 100% profit? Because they're getting a buyer lead. When you make a sale, they're getting a buyer lead. And if you know anything about buyer leads, those are some of the hottest leads around because you know what I mean? Once you're a buyer, 90% of a chance, I mean, 90% of the time you're going to buy again, right? So these people are willing to sacrifice that upsell. I mean, that first sell to let it go to you. And that's the cool thing about it. You didn't have to create the product. You could just go sell it. So there's thousands of those products, or you could even get the roadmap has over, you know, has resale rights and you can start making 500 our days. In fact, I'm going to be doing another video because they just crossed over 20 fucking million dollars as a reseller. Like that's insane. All right. Anyways, um, or you can create your own digital product. And I've been telling you guys this, I've been teaching you guys this, like maybe your passion is in law of attraction. You can go create a digital gratitude journal, a digital ebook about how to manifest better, how, uh, an ebook about how to manifest your love life, right? Maybe some of you guys are in dogs, right? You can go create your own product about dog grooming, right? You know, you could create a digital planner on, you know, when to give your dog the best medicine and checkups and shit like that. I mean, like seriously, sky's the limit. I don't think you guys understand. This is how Madison was able to go make, have a $20,000 a month just making a travel guide about Disney World. Isn't that insane? And think about her TikTok. Now, every day she's just talking about Disney World, things that she loves to talk about, and she's earning 
like, you know, a 20,000, having a $20,000 month, $70,000, but she had one month where it was 70,000. Now that was another product that she added, but still added another digital product and turned it into a $70,000 month. It's insane. So day one, we really just want to kind of get you going, get your juices flowing. Now, some of you, you're like, Hey, Justin, I don't know how to create, but I do want to earn passively. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Then let's go get you a product that you can stand behind and that you can sell. For me, it was the roadmap along with my own thing. So I'm creating my own product, but it's because I stand behind the roadmap. I'm going to resell that. Okay. So day one is making those decisions and doing some of your research. All right. And what you want to kind of do also is, uh, well, I'm sorry, day two and three, what that is called the setup phase. Okay. So we want to do a little bit less research, more setting up. And what we're going to set up is we're going to set up our stand store, which I've already talked to you guys about that. Your stand store, you can have that thing set up in 20 minutes. So literally you can put your product there and they'll even help you set up your merchant account. So you're ready to take debit card and credit card. You're ready to rock and roll, right? Like you literally can have a business in 20 minutes. I had one guy, he bought the roadmap from me and then two hours later, he made his first sell. It doesn't happen like that all the time, but you got to think about it. He was able to get set up and ready to go like in less than like, you know, 30 minutes. And so two hours later, he makes his first sell. Okay. What you're also going to do is you're going to set up your brand new TikTok or your brand new Instagram. I don't care which one you go with. I obviously would encourage you to maybe go with TikTok because Instagram is very, very powerful, but you're not going to see results very fast. Meaning, you know, you, it could take a few weeks to a month before you ever see any type of result where TikTok, you could get results within three days to three weeks, right? I've seen a guy make a sale within three days, which is insane, right? But anyway, so you want to set up your uh, uh, stand store, then you want to set up your brand new TikTok or your Instagram. And what you want to do before you even go post is this is where you go back to your research and you think of your ideal buyer, meaning the person that can benefit from your story, your experience, generally an older version of you, right? Your story, your experience, and somebody who can benefit from the actual product within itself. And what you wanna do is you wanna combine that. You wanna like combine that person because that's gonna give you content ideas, okay? So anyways, once you kinda of think about that person, you want to think about some hashtags that they would most likely benefit from or use or or just be found in, right? And what I would recommend is you do about three hashtags, okay? Because then what you want to do is you're going to go to Instagram or you're going to go to TikTok. You're going to look up those hashtags. You're going to look up top videos. You're going to engage with those videos. You're going to like those videos. You're going to comment on those videos and you're going to study those videos. And the main reason why is because we want to see, well, what hooks are they using? How are they doing it? Like is somebody giving tips? Is somebody giving steps? What are they doing? What are they saying? Okay. And there's a few reasons why. The reason why we're engaging is because we're trying to tell Instagram and TikTok, yo, this is me. This is where I'm going to go. This is what I like to do. But we're also trying to study a little bit so we can pre-plan the rest of our, uh, our, our actual posts when we start getting out there and marketing. Okay. Now, day four through 12, you're going to want to post one to two times a day. If you want to post a couple day times more throughout a day, you can. I don't want that. To, I don't want it to kill you, but at least post one or two times per day. And I'm talking about every single day. I don't care, you know, unless it's like a religious reason. Okay. And what we're going to be posting is, you know, like our experience, some tips, uh, our desires, our pain points, any pain points that we can overcome, our why, everything, right? And you really want to monitor these five content buckets, which is your personal opinions, okay, around your niche, around your product, around everything, right? Your actual product, like reviews, um, think, you know, deep dive into the actual product. Then you want to think about uh, your results and no result is too small. Don't ever, don't ever do that. So your results, other people's results. Then you want to talk about maybe some inspiration. You want to inspire some people. And then last but not least, you want to give tips, some quick tips. Those are your, like your five content buckets that you're going to be making posts about, right? So by then, I mean, in, in day two and three, you should have already been doing your research to where now you're actually creating the content based off some of the top videos that you saw, but now you're sharing it in your experience. So if somebody had a hook that you saw was very powerful and it got a lot of views, cool, use that hook only but make it tie into your experience, your story, your why, your desire. Does this make sense? Because, because hear, hear me out, guys. Let's say we both all go to a movie, right? 
you're going to go see a movie. I'm going to go see the same movie, right? The movie is going to be the same. The movie is the same. How we experience the movie is totally different. Because it's going to be based off of our beliefs, our likes, our dislikes, all that, our personality, everything, right? So we'll walk out of that movie theater and I'm going to have a different experience than you are. So that's why the hook is the same. The format of the video is the same of the viral video. But our experience and our story and the way our perspective of it is going to be 100% different. Cool? Last but not least, day 13 through 14. Now, we're not even talking about, we're not going to even talk about scaling yet, guys. Because scaling would be down the road. But day 13 and 14, what you're going to do is you're going to sit back and you're going to reflect. What videos did good, what videos didn't. Because what you want to do is you want to try to recreate it. Where could you have done better? Where could you recreate it? Could you use a better hook? Could you have used uh, maybe a shorter time frame? You want to see what worked. And then you want to recreate those videos from here on out. Because then you're going to rinse and repeat. And you might say, well, why am I doing that? See, people don't understand. We see followers... And we're thinking, oh, that's my own little community. And it is. But nowadays, you know, every time, you know, TikTok's a little bit better, right? TikTok's a little, I mean, I'm sorry. Instagram's a little bit better as far as you have ways to communicate with your actual following a little bit better because of your stories. Uh, but with Instagram, I mean, but with TikTok and Instagram, every time you post, you're getting in front of new people. So you got to remember that. So you do have your following and you connect with your following, but you more or less connect to your following and your stories. Okay. And, and by the way, I didn't even think about that, right? And, and I know it's in the blueprint, but I forgot to talk about it here. Day 14, not only are you going to post one or two times a day, you're going to post once a day in your story on TikTok. You're going to post two to five times a day in your story on Instagram, okay? Anyways, day 13 and 14, you're going to rinse and repeat. You're going to reflect, see what works, see what didn't work. Then you're going to rinse and repeat. And the reason why is because we want to study the videos that are actually working and we want to continue to use those with our content. Like Maria when she made $3 million is because she started looking at her content. She was like, well, damn, every time I do this one, this one takes off. So she starts making a little bit of different videos, but then she's like, okay, well, wait a minute. Now let's go back to what's actually working, you know, every so often because we need to get those leads and those sales going again. Okay. So, and you want to rinse and repeat because this is the actual work. Literally, this is the work, ladies and gentlemen. If you notice anybody that's making big money, they branded themselves, they had their own products, all that good stuff. And guess what? They just started following. They started sharing their journey, sharing their experience, number one. But then they just started monitoring, well, what is actually working, what is not? And then they stuck to the videos that were actually working. Every now and then they threw different videos in, right? I mean, you still want to throw in something different to see if this takes off or if, or if a new thing is coming in, like a new way to do a video that seems to be popular, fine. But still, you still are sticking with what is working as you are building and you're just rinsing and repeating. And if you do this every 14 days, well, you know, two to 14 days, you know what I'm saying? Like you go through your content and then you look back and you self-reflect and you go through your content again, you're going to be amazed. This is how I was able to make over $100,000. And this is how other people, this is exactly how Abby was able to make $300,000 in 11 months. This is how exactly William was able to make $200,000 in four months. This is exactly how Tony made $160,000 in less than five months. And here's another little bonus for you that we did it all with the roadmap because the roadmap taught us all this. How to tell your story, how to build a product if you needed to, or you can resell it if you just need to go ahead and start selling that. How to set up your store and how to actually start marketing to attract your audience and understand your content pillars and your content buckets, right? Which are, those are all the things that you want to understand. But listen, that is your 14 days. I want you to go take the four. I want you to go click the link. I want you to go get the 14 day blueprint. I want you to stick to that 14 day blueprint each and every day. And let me know in the comments, was this beneficial or do you need me to deep dive a little bit more on something else? Cause I'm kind of curious as to where to go with this. So let me know. Let's go.